In this video, I'd like to share with you an overall framework for how to build an authentic business, which is a business that not only supports you financially, but also is deeply meaningful for you. So let's start with the authentic side of things. Essentially, and I'm going to have more notes, uh, more comments in the description of this video, but the authentic part is essentially your content. The kinds of things you are putting out there online in terms of blog posts or videos or when you go speaking or when you take images and post them online, when you are sharing things that are meaningful for you that are also meaningful for others so that you start to build an audience. So the authentic side of things is really, it's about your presence. You are just being yourself. You don't have to pretend to be like somebody else. And that's what makes authentic businesses authentic, is that you are sharing something that is of genuine meaning and value to you. You think it's important to the world, it's aligned with your values, and it also, it, it, you know, at the same time is meaningful for other people. So when you are authentic, and when you're willing to be authentic in front of others, you build up an audience of people who are being served by your content. They find it helpful or meaningful and they want to continue receiving content from you. Your presence is a blessing to them. And if, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I talk about this a lot. I talk about authentic content marketing. So that's the authentic side of the authentic business. Again, in the notes of the video, I will go more in depth into this, okay? The business side is regarding you offering a product or products or services or both that are being sought out by people and it's a product or service that is useful and meaningful enough to others that they would pay for it. This is where a lot of authentic businesses tend to fall down. They think that, well, as long as I create an audience with my meaningful content, then, then it doesn't matter what I sell, they'll buy it, right? Build it and they will come. That's not necessarily the case. If, I mean, if you are willing to wait years, three, five, ten years, that may be the case where you build up such a huge audience that it doesn't matter what you sell, even if a tiny, tiny percent buy it, you'll be able to earn a living doing it. But for most of us who are not able or willing to wait five or ten years, if you are, that's, that's wonderful, by the way, and you should have that patience. But if you, if you don't want to wait five or ten years, you want to have a business sooner than that, then you need to focus on making products or services or finding them and selling them as an affiliate that other people are actually seeking out. Okay? If you make something that nobody is seeking out or not enough people are seeking out, or at least the audience that you've built, they're not seeking it out, then no matter how much they like or love you, there's going to be too small a percentage of people who will buy that you won't be able to have an authentic business. You'll just have an authentic hobby. Okay, So you need to create the um, product and services that people are seeking out. Again, I'll put more thoughts in the notes of this video to give you uh, some ideas and tools for how to discover whether people are seeking out the product and service you're thinking of creating. Okay, so that is essentially the overview. I want to keep this video uh, shorter and the, the notes of the video, the notes inside the, the video will be more in depth, but authentic and business. Think about both. Now, let me just, one more thing I'll say is I've already mentioned a lot of people build an authentic hobby and they can't make a business out of it because they don't think enough about the product and service and how they can make something people are seeking out. On the other side, a lot of people build businesses that are not authentic to them or have jobs that are not authentic to them. And so therefore they don't feel fulfilled in their life and they need to look to hobbies to fulfill them. But what if you could have both? What if you could be doing your work in a way that's so meaningful for you that you don't need other hobbies to make your life meaningful, but that your work itself, the way that you earn money is so meaningful for you that you can really dive into it and find wholeness you know, in, in your, uh, the fulfillment of how you are showing up in the world. So I wish that for you. I'm so grateful that I've been able to achieve that 
in my own life and I help clients do that as well in theirs. So uh, again, look at the notes of the video for much more guidance. And of course, I have lots of videos that go into these kinds of topics. So I wish you well and any questions and comments, I'm always open to them. Be well.